I'm on the phone with MDI head volleyball coach Corey Papadopoli. And, Coach, uh, continuing our somewhat infrequent, frequent head volleyball coaches show, uh, congratulations, a huge victory against Ellsworth in Ellsworth this past week. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think um, it was the, the girls' best match yet. It was exciting. I mean, it, it, this, you won 3-0, three, three but that final score, I think, what, 31-29 or something like that? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and we were down 24-20, to 20, I believe, um, and, and had to come back and hold off four, four set points as well. Wow. And, you know, for anyone who doesn't realize the, the aerobic conditioning that's involved in volleyball, You've, you've got to go see a match because they're quick points. Points can be long, and, I mean, you've got girls diving all over the place. Yeah, and there were some def- definitely were some long rallies in this, and uh, just the tense back-and-forth nature of it with each side having multiple game points was was pretty exciting. I know. I, I mean, even as a spectator, the, the, the few times that I've been and, and watched Ellsworth or MDI play, I'm amazed at how long the rallies can go for. And then it's like, even on the sidelines, I'm going, oh, my God, come on, don't mess up, don't mess up, get it over, one, two, three, get it over. I mean, it's exciting. It is, it is, yeah. All right, so you've got a match uh, tomorrow. You uh, you take on, uh, you travel down to Augusta to take on Coney. Yep, yep. Um, so, you know, another, another long road trip, but uh, at this point we should be used to it by now. Yeah, I mean, and and it's hard to believe, but the season, uh, the regular season's halfway over. This will be the eighth out of the the fourteen games. Yes, and uh, next week is is going to be a a big week for us because we've got four games next week. So, which really tests uh, endurance. I mean, so you've got Washington Academy at at the high school on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, you you come up to Brewer who's in their first year but uh, as, a, as a varsity team, but they're playing extremely well. And then Friday and Saturday you host Southern main teams, uh, Yarmouth and Gorham. Yeah, it's, gonna be, it's definitely going to be a tough and challenging week for us. Um, and those two, those two matches, especially at the end of the week, um, uh, Yarmouth and Gorham are going to be especially challenging. Yarmouth coming in at 7-2 and two and... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, and Brewer, as we, you know, as I was saying, is eight and one in in their first year. They are. Yep, they're going to be tough too. Tell us a little bit about the growth of the girls during the season. Um, well, as as we talked, I think girls, um, they're definitely a, a young team and learning to play with each other, um, and that you know that's that's improving. They're starting to get the system and and play in it more, and that's. That's really what's going to make them successful or not is is if everyone can buy into the system, uh, do their part, do their play their role, and uh, and make it work. All right, a big week, and uh, you'd love to have some fans in attendance tomorrow um, as, as you take on Washington Academy. I would. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it adds to the excitement when when you've got fans cheering on. So no question. All right, Coach, best of luck. Thanks for taking the time, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you.